What's up techies, we got Anchor's card kit on deck for review. Hey guys, so we got the Anchor card kit here. This is a pretty cool one. I like the casing first of all, it's really cool looking. Logo looks good, the color combination, but the material is pretty nice too. It almost feels like just about like a Kevlar kind of feel, but it's just like a really hard woven kind of plastic kind of texture or fabric. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into the case and see what all it comes with and how this could actually be something you could use in your car. So what's pretty neat about this right off the bat is like you get a car charger to charge this. You also get a USB cable right there. You got these straps to hold everything in place. It's a really cool kit. So let's go ahead and take this one out. And this is like a multi-purpose battery charger. You can use it just as like a normal power bank or you can actually jump start your car. It's also got this flash out on it, but we'll get into all those little details in just a second. Let's go ahead and take a look inside and see what else it comes with. We have a wall charger for the battery. And then of course we got our jumper cables and it seems like they got decent amount of stretch. I would kind of want it to be just a tad bit longer just in case I might need that kind of distance between the two connections. Just I don't know. Sometimes in some experiences that I've had, you just need a little bit more than what you expect, but this should actually just pass just fine. I'll actually take it out to my truck and just kind of let you see a little glimpse of what it looks like if you need to jump start it. All right, so here we are back at my truck and I'm going to just kind of stretch this out to see if they fit across. And I'm going to unplug this so that way I actually don't charge it because I need to charge this up more up to 100%. You're not supposed to try to do a, a jump off unless if it's a 75% charge. So it's actually a good thing that it came out here because I had to clean off a bunch of corrosion. I'm going to have to do a better job, but just for the sake of doing the video, I just want to show you how close or how far apart that these are. Now this is an SUV battery, so it's a bigger battery than like some car batteries, but it definitely stretches across to where it needs to go. So that's definitely a good sign. Let's put that off to the side for just a second and take a look at this guy. This is heavy duty. It's got some nice weight to it, so it doesn't feel cheap at all whatsoever. Let's go ahead and like get this cranked on and see what we can do with it. All right, so it's coming with two bars of juice so far. You got four different indicators. All right, so this button is like a little lamp. You can kind of see that. So it seems like you got some different modes here. Like I'm pressing it, it's like three different settings. You got really bright, mid bright, lower bright, and off. Okay, if you hold down this one, it turns on the main flashlight. So you have a, a good flashlight there, so that's pretty cool. It also turns it into a strobe and solid light to, oh, okay, so it's a slower strobe, so that's pretty neat, like a warning, and then off. So just to go over it again, if you long press, you get the main light, which just stays stagnant. Press it again, you get a strobe. Press it one more time, and you get a slower strobe, just like a warning light, and then off. So that's pretty cool. Let's just take it apart, why not, right? As you can hear, this is actually metal. It's not like very cheap material kind of stuff at all. Ball joint there. So you definitely don't want to lose this little piece that fell out. And it goes right there. Don't want to lose that. <laughs> Let's put this back together. Might not be a good idea to change it out unless I guess you absolutely have to if you got to change it to light bulb or something. But what I liked about it though, you could hear all that metal. I wonder what that's for. Okay, so that actually changes the you can kind of see right there on the on the cover, it changes the width of the light. So that's pretty cool. You can narrow it down to be really kind of concentrated, so that's pretty neat. Okay, so this is actually really cool. This is to actually bust out the window if you need to. That's really cool. This is really neat. I'm liking this a lot so far. Let's take this back off, see what it has, which is going to have the main connections. So we got an IQ charging port right here. You got your input, which is where how you're going to charge it with your wall or your car cable. Then we have this here, and this is where this guy fits in. So that's how that works. And then you just bring it over to your battery and charge it up. 
All right, so let's actually connect this to my phone over here. Let's see what kind of output it has and things like that. Use it like a battery charger or a power bank. Look at the LG G4. So we might just have to actually activate it. Where's my buttons at? There we go. If you press that, okay, that's weird. All right, so you can actually get a red one. <laughs> that's cool. All right, I want to go to an app that I actually just learned from What Would Josh Do called Ampere. Let's see what kind of output it has. Kind of gives you the details here. This is a really cool app. I'm really glad that Josh actually showed that in one of his videos. It was pretty neat. Learned that pretty nicely. So there we go. Here's your output and your max, your minimum and maximum level. It tells you that's good, good health and all that kind of stuff. Here's your voltage. It's pretty neat. Yeah, so it's a good battery. It's going to charge this up relatively quick. And you can just use it as a power bank. Well, this is a pretty cool car kit. I'd say it's got a lot of different uses to it. I definitely recommend it. And I just thought about another use you could get out of this. And I don't condone this and only use it if you have to. But if you think about it, this could be a good self-defense weapon as well. Just a thought. Like I said, don't go banging someone's head in with this thing. But I was just thinking, like, if this really could be a good self-defense weapon, not to mention get you out of situations that you need to be out of. So that's pretty cool. I'll leave a link down below if you want to pick one of these up for yourself. I'm definitely going to be sticking this in my car. And for that matter, this is going to be with my wife no matter what because it's got a good battery, it's got flashlights, self-defense, all kinds of good uses for this. And you always have something to charge with, a flashlight. It's really cool. I love it. It's definitely my favorite that I've ever reviewed. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found that as informational for you. If you did, share this with your friends and family. I really appreciate it if you guys would do that. And until then, stay techie.